Hey kids, you ready to learn about your crowning glory? Yeah! 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 Anyways kids, today we're going to learn about the hindbrain as I was telling you earlier. A very important part of the brain in fact, and it controls many structures and... Hello? Oh yes, how are you doing? Great. Ah, great. Well, we'll see you on the set earlier in a bit. Okay, bye. Excuse the interruption, kids. It's my colleague, Dr. Murday. He's going to be stopping by and helping us learn more about the brain as we go into our adventures in time. Yeah! Oh, hello. Hey, doctor. How are you doing? Colleague, it's been a while, has it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Let me put this back, down. back on the fields, I see. Doctor. Anyway, so what can you tell us about the hindbrain? We were looking oh, about that. The today. hindbrain. Are you talking about the uh, the uh, the one that's the lowest uh, the lowest level of evo in evolutionary terms? That one. Yeah. Yes, that oh, one. That yeah. Be... Yeah. Um, it's the part of the brain, the lowest part of the brain, actually. Uh, okay. The lowest part of the brain. It includes uh, both the medulla, the pons, and also the cerebellum. The cerebellum. Really? Yeah! The cerebellum? Yeah. You mean, oh, that's the structure that's actually in the hindbrain. Oh. I think is what you're referring to. I, I, I'm a confused person. And that's the person. one that uh, actually, uh, it's involved with controlling balance and coordination. Really? So, let's say if, um, if I didn't have that part of my brain, I would go like this? Why can't I like, balance? No! <laughs> so that's what would happen if you didn't have one of those. Yeah, huh, quite, a, quite a fortunate person, isn't he? Wouldn't you agree, class? Yeah! Anyway, as I was saying, what about the medulla? Doesn't that control your heart rate and breathing? Yeah, the medulla actually does control your heart rate and breathing. So, so you're saying if I don't have one of those, this would happen to me? <laughs> there we go again, again. Yeah! That's wow! Exactly amazing! What amazing! You know what I think is a really, really interesting part of the brain actually, is the pons. The you pons? Know? Yeah, that's the, the structure in the hindbrain that actually makes sure uh, it's involved with your sleep and how awake you are. So you're saying that if I didn't have a pond, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this poor fellow? <laughs> Why can't I sleep? <laughs> wow! Yeah. I can't believe that! That's exactly what I was trying to say. Well, I'm glad we went over the high brain structures, because sure if you learn that, then you learn more, and we know that you learn, so we learn about you learning. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> What about uh, the midbrain? The what? midbrain? How about you tell me about the, No, the midbrain? What are you talking about? <laughs> the midbrain. midbrain. I'm not that good at the midbrain. I'm about the hindbrain. Well, let me tell you about the midbrain, what I think I know. Actually, what I know, I know. I know that the midbrain lies above the hindbrain. And it contains nerve pathways that connect the hindbrain with the forebrain. So it's like a, a connection of the three parts together. Kind of like, like, like these grapes, if you will. See? See? And then they're squished and they're gone forever. So as you can see, it connects them all three together. It's terrible. And um, they um, control the automatic movements, like your eyes when you blink every few seconds, like this. And also, it also has like, um, the, as you change your head position, like, so your eyes are focused as you change your eyes, so it's like this. Anyway, hey, um, what was that? What was that one thing that I was uh, talking to you about when we went to Olive Garden last week? Oh uh, uh, yeah, the reticular formation, right? Are you sure it wasn't yeah. the salad? Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good Caesar salad. Anyway, it was uh, a good Caesar yeah. salad. Anyway, besides that, the reticular formation—that's the uh, web-like. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, that's the web-like formation, kind of like a spider web. It's a web of neurons. A web of neurons? Yeah, and all of the neurons are involved in, uh, they regulate your, uh, your... Like this? No, not no, like no, that. No. It's like no, a web. Oh, web. Like a web. Yeah, like a spider web. Yeah. Spider-man. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, what it does is it regulates your state of attention, alertness, and arousal. 
So if I didn't have one of those, I would be like this poor fellow. Why can't I pay attention? I wanted to learn of this. <laughs> Why can't I be around? Yeah, that's wow. exactly what it'd be like. How interesting. Man, that'd be I'm, terrible. I'm, be... I'm gonna have that. The reticular formation? Yeah, because then I wouldn't be able to keep alert. Alert or aroused? Yeah! Or attentive. Anyway, doctor. So, I, I told you about the reticular formation, correct? Yeah. You went on telling me about the, uh, what is it, the front part of the brain? Is that, what do you call it? The forebrain. The forebrain. Forebrain, kids. The forebrain. which is located in the front where my hat was a few seconds ago after <laughs> I threw it across the room. <laughs> the forebrain. The forebrain. So uh, what you're saying is it goes hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. forebrain. Do you, you get it, kids? Do you get the it, kids? The hindbrain is you... in the back, the hind. The midbrain Mid middle. is in the middle of the brain. And the forebrain is at the forefront of the forebrain. Just like uh, the French in World War II. Or a snowman, as I would prefer to say. Yes, that's a very good uh, analogy. There's the bottom of the snowman, which would be the hindbrain. Yes, it would and be. In the center would be the, the midbrain with the cute little buttons. And... Kind of like this. Yeah! That anyway. Was... Did you just break that? <laughs> it broke it. <laughs> just like that person. Anyway, besides that, no, this... <laughs> besides that, besides the fact that this is broken now, I should tell you about the thalamus, get this a structure in the forebrain that serves as a relay station for sensory information and that plays a key role in regulating states of wakefulness and sleep. So that one specifically controls your sleep patterns. There's also the hypothalamus, a small pea-sized structure in the forebrain that helps regulate the many vitally body and functions breaking my house <laughs> including body your kitchen house i mean is what i meant to say yes it's just it so um you can see he's kind of fussed <laughs> kind of like if he lost his basal ganglia yeah which he would lose his coordination of what he's saying whoa anyway we wouldn't want that no, so i was saying the not. hypothalamus and the hypothalamus is exactly like this you see a pea-sized a pea-sized object like this, from, the, from the earplug of the stethoscope you see and um, we try to put this back in here, fix it up, yeah, back in the game. How do I say? Anyway, it's a small pea-sized structure in the forebrain that helps regulate many vital, vital bodily functions, like like your body temperature, for instance. If you didn't have a good body temperature, you look like this guy. What? And that would be terrible. It would be, and it also controls things like your reproduction system, like <laughs> this poor fellow. Yeah. It also includes your emotional states, such as aggression and response to stress. So if you didn't have this, or you might look like this guy. Wow, that seems pretty, pretty uh, upset. So now that we went through most of these things, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the limbic system, a group of interconnected structures that includes the amygdala, hippocampus, and which are parts of the thalamus. Yeah. The hippocampus and the hypothalamus. And other I love the hippocampus. Really? Yes. That's the uh, the structure in the uh, limbic system, correct? Yes. The one is. that uh, controls your memory formation, so you can uh, remember things. Of course, like your everyday values. But if you didn't have one of these, or if you had a disorder, you'd be much like this fellow. Yeah. Uh. Without the uh, the hippocampus. You would have no memories. You'd have no existence. Your whole life would be for nothing. Everything you do and have ever done would be forgotten immediately. You could never love a woman. And no never ever love you. Never enjoy yourself. Your life would be terrible. Yeah!